Megan. I'm the special project editor here at One Kings Lane and today we're in the studio to learn how to whitewash a table. I really love this technique because it gives a kind of beachy, washed out vibe to any piece of wood that you apply it to. You just want to make sure that you start out with a piece of raw wood. So I actually um, stripped the finish off of this guy yesterday and now um, I'm going to use this wire brush to open up the pores of the wood. Now I'm just using this cotton rag to wipe away any dust that accumulated while I was wire brushing. We're ready to apply the paint to the table. Um, I like to wear a pair of latex gloves to keep my manicure in check. You're going to need a rag, a kind of stiff bristle brush like this guy, and then I'm using a can of leftover white paint. Um, pretty much any latex, like house paint, will work. And so I'm just going to start right here and I'm going to work with the grain of the wood and I'm going to kind of scrub the wood and now I'm going to wipe it off. <laughs> Almost done. I think I'm going to use a light grit sanding block to just give it a once over. You don't want it to look like you just painted it white, you want it to look like it's been white for ages we're ready to move on to the last step in this process. Um, I'm going to use a satin finish polyurethane to protect all the hard work we've done. It's definitely best to apply really thin coats of polyurethane. That way you avoid getting drips. Now that this polyurethane is dry, it's time to clean up this mess and transfer this bad boy to its new home.